Now let's uh, quickly discuss uh, the half subtracted. The concept here is uh, that we uh, just subtract uh, from x, y. So this column, uh, which is d column, is the difference or subtraction. And there is another column for uh, raising a flag that you have borrowed one. So this is for the borrowed. And sometimes you come across a term called minuend and subtract end. Uh, so if you keep this in mind, that the first one from where we are subtracting, from which we are subtracting is called minu end and the item which is subtracted is called the subtra end and obviously you get the difference. And from here you can directly write the equation for d you can see these two are one so we, we can see from here it is a 0, 1, that means x dash y, so x dash y, or from here you can see x, y dash, so x, y dash, and for the other one, we have just one here, so it is x dash y, so borrow is at x dash y. Then uh, we talk of full subtractor. Now the full subtractor, we have to subtract y from x and then whatever is the result you subtract z from that so like here first of all you subtract y from x uh, so let's say in the first case 0 0 so subtracting we get 0 and since this is 0 so the answer also uh, if you subtract uh, this 0 or z from 0 then the answer will be 0 and there has been no borrow so the borrow will also be 0. Now next is this one. From here if we subtracting y from 0 we get 0 but when we subtract 1 from 0 that is z we subtracting from this we cannot subtract unless we borrow. So we have to borrow. So first of all, we raise this flag to be 1. So we have borrowed 1, which has become 2 here. Uh, just like when we borrow in the decimal, we borrow 1 uh, in place of a 0, then it becomes 10. Similarly, here it has become now 2. So 2 minus 1, the answer will be 1. And let's see one more. Third one here this one. Now we are borrowing from here because uh, y cannot be subtracted from 0. So straight away we need to borrow. We raise this flag to be 1. And so this will be 2. 2 minus 1 is 1. Now from 1 we can subtract 0. The answer will be 0. So this is how uh, we proceed uh, for the uh, full subtractor. So this is our answer D difference. And this is for B, uh, borrow flag. And now if you uh, follow this table, we have 1, 2, 3 and 4 ones. So this is for D, again we just plot it. There is nothing common, so the answer will be just uh, the OR values of all four inputs. And now let's see uh, with the uh, borrow terms. The borrow terms again uh, uh, we have common here and here and here. So we get a simplified version of the uh, borrowed function.